A couple months back, GitHub decided to take a brand new initiative. And instead of just having your projects on your home screen and your commits, you would also have like this readme page that you could edit in Markdown. And you could add stuff like people who visited your you know, page, some stats, language used, and some links, right? So while all this is nice, I didn't really find it very entertaining. So what I decided to do was create a game inside of Markdown. And the game I decided to pick was Rock, Paper, Scissors, right? And it's a very simple game. And uh, if you guys don't know how to play it, then you guys are probably living under a rock. So all you have to do is just pick Rock, Paper, or Scissors, and it's just going to tell if you won, lost, or it's a draw. So if I click Rock, for example, all right, and now it's just loading. And of course, it's going to take a oh, uh, there we go. So yeah, and it just shows that you won, right? But let's suppose if I just go later, and it's just going to show you lost. And uh, what scissors? I lost again. And y y you get the gist of it, right? You could win, lose. It's just all pretty random. So today I'm going to show you guys how I made an entire video game inside of Markdown and how you guys can do that as well. All right, so first of all, what is Markdown, right? So Markdown is something that's used inside of mainly code repositories. They're basically used to like describe and like help set up like with the docs. Like for example, for one of my APIs, I have some readme docs that you can read over here. So it has stuff like a table of contents, how to install, and all that kind of stuff, right? And I'll even show you guys how some of it worked, right? So for one hashtag, you have an h1 tag. For two hashtags, you have the equivalent of an HTML h2 tag, right? You can even print out, like have like a table like this. You can have links, all that kind of stuff. But GitHub decided to take it one step farther, and you can even insert parts of HTML. Now, parts that you can insert are links with the dash a tag. You can even do basic HTML like heading tags, like h1 and like all the way through h6. And you can do images. And you can also, yeah, and that's about it, right? So right now, that doesn't seem like a lot. But it turns out that's actually all we need for our game to be made. Let me explain why. All right, so here's how the game will work. So we have an image that's embedded with a link. Now, funny little thing about that link is that that's actually an API request. That API request will then go over to my server that I'm probably going to use with Python, right? Then what's going to happen is that that API link is going to have an ID for every image. Rock will have one, paper will have two, and uh, scissor will have three. What it's then going to do is it's going to take that ID that I specified, and then it's going to randomly generate another ID, and that's going to be the it's going to be one, two, or three, right? And what they're gonna, what the computer is gonna do is it's just gonna have some game logic to check if you see if you won, lost, or a draw, and then it's just gonna return the proper response. So while this may seem very complicated, it's actually not that hard. In fact, let me show you the code for this game. All right, so here's all the code there is. So let's go over it one by one. First, let's go over the HTML pages. I have three HTML pages. I have a draw HTML page, a lost HTML page, and a win HTML page. Now, in the in these three HTML pages, it's just simply going to redirect depending on what happens. Now, let's head on over to the app.py. All I'm doing here is just importing the libraries and setting up an API. Then I have one route and just one route. So the route is just going to have the int with the card ID. So it's going to have one, two, or three, as I specified earlier. Then what it's going to do is it's going to go and take the card argument. I then go ahead and randomly generate a number, which is the computer's card. So first, I just check to see if the two of them are equal. If so, just return draw.html. Now, then what I do is, is I set up a dictionary, all right, and I check to see if the uh, check to see situations in which you yourself might lose. And if these statements are false, then you will win. And also, the statements in which you would lose would be if you have like scissors and the other player has rock or paper with scissors and rock with paper. Now, all of this is hosted on a Python Anywhere server. It's completely free. The only downside is that you have to renew it once every four months, but that's like two clicks. So that's all I had to do. All right, now let me show you how I integrated it into my Markdown page. All right, so here I am inside of my GitHub uh, readme. All right, uh, you guys can also view the code on my GitHub. All right, so here's what I've done. So first I do is I have an image, right? So what I do is I just import the image and all the images I'm using are online images, right? So I'm not using anything like I have no images like on my uh, actual GitHub account. All right, so this is the image for the paper and I think you get the idea, right? After that, I wrap it around inside of a link tag using the A tag. All right, 
And then what I do is I just simply reference it over into the API link. And then I give it the ID of two for paper, one for rock, and three for scissors. In fact, I can even just paste this link, all right? And if I were to run it, it's just gonna show whether it's a draw, and now I've lost, and now I won, right? And that's just how the game works, right? And what I've done is I've just wrapped that around for every single one of them. And then what happens is that it'll just redirect it over to the HTML page, right? So it would be a win page, lose page, uh, what's the other one? Win, lose, draw. Yeah. And that's really it. So that's how you guys can make uh, a simple game inside of Markdown for your GitHub readme. Uh, I would like to see you guys try this challenge as well. All right, like try and make something aside from rock, paper, scissors. And, uh, and yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.